Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 20. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over multi page view versus single page view. And if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Okay? Now, the first thing that you should see in your document is a single page view by default when you open up the document. So you should automatically be in that mode. If you're not, don't worry you'll be able to see how to switch between the two within this particular tutorial. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the window option in your menu up here at the top left hand corner and we're going to go to multi page view so make sure you enable that. Let's just go up here to the windows key and then look for multi page view left click it make sure that it's got the check mark by it. If it doesn't have that check mark by it that means it's not selected so if we click it again and we go to Windows, you'll see that it's unchecked. So left click it again and make sure that it again has that check mark next to the multi page view. And also to the right of that, you can see the shortcut key for accessing the multi page view. So once you have that set, let's go ahead and go to our toolbar here and we're going to draw some quick shapes. It doesn't matter what they are, and you're probably familiar with this by now since we do this almost every tutorial, just to make things more efficient. Uh, go ahead and draw that rectangle on there and we'll give it a, a different color. We'll make it whatever color you want. Then we'll go to the page and layer gallery to the right and we'll go ahead and lock this panel and we're going to go ahead and select the first page so that it's got the blue rectangle behind it and then select the new page icon and it'll create a second page and then when we create that page it automatically brings us to that particular page as you can see we now have a blank page here so let's go ahead and draw a rectangle on that page and we'll give it a different color we'll make it maybe red or orange whichever color you want and we'll make one more page go ahead and select the thumbnail for the page itself and then you get the big blue rectangle behind it and then go to the top left hand corner of this panel and select new page again and we're going to draw one more rectangle on that third page and give it again a different color than what the other rectangles are. Okay, so now we have a total of three pages. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and close this panel out by clicking the close button in the right upper hand corner. Left click that. And then go to your selection tool and the toolbar. All right, now this is multi page view that we're in right now. So if you go to your your right scroll bar, your vertical scroll bar on the right hand side here, you see that? You'll be able to scroll up and down between the different pages. And this is multi page view. And the benefit of this is that you can get to each page without having to go to your page and layer gallery to see what's on the next page. You can actually just scroll through and see each page that you're working with. Now one of the downsides is sometimes it can be distracting if you see some of the elements on one of the other pages and you're working with a different page or sometimes you may have an object that is somewhat in between two pages and I'll show you what I mean if we left click this rectangle on the first page so go to your first page if you haven't already if you left click on that rectangle and drag it downward you'll see that it goes underneath underneath that page for the second page it kinda goes underneath it and hides it and sometimes you might accidentally push this rectangle all the way in there and then you can't grab it back out so that's one of the disadvantages so be careful when you place it in multi page view that make sure that you don't get one of your elements slipped under one of your next pages or previous previous pages as well because well it, it can kinda get caught in between it may not get stuck all the way but sometimes it can depending on how small the object in this case since it's a big rectangle eventually it slips into the next page so I guess there is a benefit to having it this way as well uh, because you can slide an element onto another page and physically without having to go to your page and layer gallery you can just slip it to the next page but also the item can get stuck in there if it's too small so just be kinda careful with moving your objects from page to page okay so that's multi page view let's go ahead and switch back to the single page view which should be default when you first open the document go to your window key in the upper upper left hand menu here and then look for the multi page view you'll see that it's got the check mark left click that to deselect it from being checked 
and now we're in single page view again and as you can see we're on the first page and we have the green rectangle and we can't see the other pages if we scroll down or up so no matter how far you scroll up or down you won't be able to see those other pages and now if we move that green rectangle over the page you'll see that it doesn't slip up under anything you can always you know even if you push it way down here you can always grab it back it's not a potential of it being stuck under another page so I like the working single page view just because of that it makes my life a little bit easier maybe not for you whichever is best for you is your choice okay so that's how you how you work with single page view now let's show you how you would access the other pages you would just go to your page and layer gallery and you would select on a thumbnail for the page that you want to go to so instead of using your scroll bar you would have to go to your page and layer gallery to go to the other pages so just remember that it's pretty simple just click on the thumbnail of the page you want like I'm doing now and you'll be able to go to the different pages there is one other way to switch if you don't want to go to the page and layer gallery in single page view you can also go to the bottom right hand corner of your menu and you'll see that it'll say page one of three or whatever page you're on and you'll see up and down arrows and if you click the down arrow it'll take you to the next page which would be page two of three and if you click it again it'll take you to page three of three and if you hit the up arrow go to the previous page so there is another there is a way to access your other pages without having to go to the page and layer gallery when you're in single page view but most people will go probably go to the page and layer gallery because you can immediately see all your pages and you won't have to click them one by one you can just select the page that you want so that's the differences between the multi page view versus a single page view if you have any questions please send us a message on YouTube and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like this video give us a thumbs up thanks again for viewing this XR web designer tutorial